Good morning students. Today I am going to do lesson 2, The Sound of Music from our textbook Beehive and it has been written by Deborah Cawley. The chapter is divided into two parts. Part 1 which focuses on the Scottish musician Evelyn Glenny and Part 2 which talks about the great musical legend Bismillah Khan. So we will start with Part 1. Evelyn Clinney listens to music without hearing it. Before we proceed with the chapter, let me tell you about the author Deborah Cawley. Deborah Cawley, an Ottawa based writer and broadcaster, is also the author of Cairo, a practical guide and co author of One Woman's Journey, a portrait of Pauline Vanier. She has travelled the world while writing more than 100 articles for different editions of the Reader's Digest, many of which have been translated into dozens of languages. The Sound of Music is about two music masters and their lives. One part is about the Scottish musician Evelyn and the other is about Indian legend Bismillah Khan. It will help students to gain insight into their struggles and hard work. The story of Evelyn Glenny is a motivational one. It inspires all of us to overcome our physical disabilities and achieve our dreams and goals just like Evelyn did. Evelyn Glenny's loss of hearing was gradual. When she was 8 year old, her mother first noticed about her difficulty in hearing. Evelyn managed to hide her growing deafness from her friends and teachers for quite a while. At the age of 11, her marks had deteriorated. Then her headmistress requested her parents to take her to a specialist. It was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage. Her parents were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf. The loss of hearing did not deter Evelyn from her determination to lead a normal life. She wanted to be a musician. One day, she saw a girl playing a xylophone. She too wanted to play it. All teachers discouraged her, but percussionist, her teacher Ron Forbes, believed she could do it. Ron Forbes tuned two drums. He asked her not to hear, but to sense the sound in some other way. Suddenly, Evelyn realized that she could feel the high drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down. Soon, she discovered that she could feel the vibrations in every part of her body. Evelyn joined the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy. She got right to the top. At the end of her three-year course, she had captured most of the top awards. In 1991, she was presented with the Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious soloist of the year. Evelyn gives free concerts and presents in hospitals. She has accomplished more than most people twice her age. Now, Evelyn is a multi-percussionist. Now here, it is important to tell you, dear children, what does percussion actually means. Percussion means drums and other instruments that one plays by hitting them with hand or an object such as a stick. Then what does percussionist mean? Percussionist is a person who plays any of the several percussion instruments, especially in an orchestra. So, Evelyn Glenny, she is a multi-percussionist and is a popular artist invited for performances all over the world. Evelyn defines success in her own words. She says, if you work hard, and know where you are going, you will get there. And as far as music is concerned, she explains, it, that is music, pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin, my cheekbones and even in my hair. When she plays a xylophone, she can feel the resonances flowing into her body. On a wooden platform, she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through her bare feet and upper legs. While talking about Evelyn, master percussionist James Blade says, 
God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels, far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. Evelyn has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. She serves as a great inspiration to the specially able community. So dear children, the moral of this story is that we should never give up. Life is full of challenges, but it depends upon us whether we take up and face the challenge or just sit behind, isolated. Evelyn Cleaney is a world famous percussionist. She does not listen to music, but she feels it. In order to fulfill our dreams and wishes, we should overcome all such difficulties as Evelyn did. Thank you for watching.